Hello guys and welcome to DTWGD Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, the GDRLA test, that's the language test, and trying to identify the main idea in a text, okay? So I think Saturdays I'm going to be doing a lot of RLA, all right, going through um, tests, trying to know, um, um, help you on how to, you know, um, comprehend and understand, get the main idea, get details from a, te a text so you can easily pass your RLA test. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at look getting the main idea from a text. Okay, and I have a short text uh, passage here. Uh, before we go get on to the video, please, please do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Okay, and um, give this video a thumbs up, share this video. If you have any questions, please, or comment, drop um, your question and comment in the comment section. And um, also, you can check our website for summary notes, study guides, practice questions. This is it, all free, all right? And you can also join our Facebook group, over 6,000 members, to support you in getting your GED um, test done and cleared in 2020. True. Okay, and if you require one on one um, tutoring, you can also contact me. All the links I'm going to leave in the video description box of this video, and also links to get your uh, study materials, your GED math calculator, your books you know, the best books you can get. I've left all the links in the video description box. Please support me by using those links. Okay, and um, now getting on to the video. How do you identify the main idea? First of all, you need to know what the main idea is. Okay. Now, the main idea is the most important point in a piece of writing. All right. When it comes to the GED text and trying to understand passage, there's what we call the main idea. There's also what we call the topic sentence. That's the sentence that contains the main idea. All right. And sometimes, uh, most times in the GED test, there are several paragraphs. And each paragraph might have a particular main idea. Okay? All right? So, in each paragraph, you can get a topic sentence that contains the main idea of that particular paragraph. Okay? And there's what we call supporting details. These are just information that supports and explains the main idea. It's not the main idea. You, When we go through this text together, I will show you what the supporting detail is and what the te topic sentence is. Now, let's go through this text together. It says, a visit to the town. First of all, uh, before I, I, I get on to this, to help you... Um, you know, uh, get your GED to help you be fast, uh, okay, during your GED test. Try to, first of all, read the question. I think I'll do, I'm going to do a video on tricks on how to answer your RLA test questions quick. Okay, try to read the question, all right? When you read the question, then when you get into the text, you have an idea of what you're looking for. So you don't spend too much time, okay? And... When you read the question, when you come to the options, I've noticed most of the students I tutor, what they do is they just, maybe they go through option A, okay, and they say, oh, okay, um, this this doesn't look like the answer. They go through option B, they're like, okay, this looks like the answer. And they don't try to go through options C and D. No, go through all the options. Then strike out the three that you think are not close to the answer, Okay. The one left will be would definitely be the right answer. Are you getting me? Are you getting my point? So don't just when you go through the options, just go you just go through A, B, C, and you stop. No, go through all uh, the options. I noticed that sometimes you will see in there are two options that might be you might think that are close to the answer, but when you uh, strike it down to to two, then from that two you will further strike it down to one. Are you getting my point? So that's the way to really, really accurately get your GED RLA test. Okay, right. All right. So now the question is, which sentence in the passage expresses the main idea? So we're looking for a sentence in the passage that expresses the main idea. Now let's go to the passage. It says, a visit to the town of Williamsburg in Virginia is a trip into our colonial American past. This is because the people there live, dress, cook, and travel just as they did 300 years ago. 
There are no TV sets, cars, or tall apartment houses. Instead, there are small wooden or stone houses heated with wood stoves and horses and wagons for travel. Williamsburg is a theme park in which volunteers recreate life as it was lived in colonial times. In the governor's palace, visitors can watch men and women in colonial dress prepare and serve a supper just as it was done in 1725. Now, from this sentence, sorry, let me go back. Sorry about that. From now, from this sentence, what is the main uh what is what is the main idea or from this passage i mean what is the main idea okay now let's go to our options it says a a visit to the town of williamsburg in virginia is a trip into a colonial american past this is likely a is likely the right option but let's go further to b um to the other options b says there are no tv sets cars or tall apartment houses what is this statement referring to is referring to the colonial american past right so this is not the main idea now c is just like this is like supporting details c says instead instead there are small wooden or stone houses heated with wood stoves and horses and wagons for travel this still is still talking about williamsburg a colonial american past Okay, so these two, B and C, cannot be the answer. D says, in the governor's palace, visitors can watch men and women in colonial dress prepare and serve supper, just as it was done in 1725. This is also a supporting details. Okay, so we have striked out B, C, and D. It can't be the answer. This is not the main idea of this particular passage. Okay, the main idea is a visit to the town of Williamsburg in Virginia is a trip into our colonial American past. Okay, that is the main idea. Why all this is talking about the visit towards uh, Williamsburg in Virginia and it, um, it takes us into a trip into our colonial past. Okay, so this is the main sentence. This is what we would now call the topic sentence, the sentence that contains the main idea. A, okay, and B, C, and D, these are supporting details. They are talking about something, okay? The TV set all is talking about the trip into a colonial past. C, uh, the wooden small, the small wooden wood stoves is also talking about the trip into a colonial past. The governor's palace visitors is also talking about the trip into a colonial past. So all these are supporting details. The main idea of this passage is what A, a visit to the town of Williamsburg is in Virginia is a trip into our colonial past. So you can see how you can identify a main idea in a text. Okay. Next week, Saturday, by God's grace, we're also going to be looking at another text. So please make sure you subscribe and um, click on the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a video for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. And don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead you to that particular is it, is life that you desire, which is a life, everybody desires a life of peace, prosperity, of progress, of joy, of love, of, of, of all goodness in God. And the, the only place you find goodness is in Christ Jesus, is in God, our creator. Okay? So he is the one, he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. And he's calling you today to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. And he's going to make every crooked way straight in your life. He's going to bless you abundantly, take you off whatever um, destruction that you are in. And he's going to deliver, totally deliver you. Bring you out of that Mary, uh, Mary, Mary clay and set your feet upon the rock. Okay? So he's calling you today. So thank you for staying tuned and see you in our next video. All right? Take care and see you in our next video.